on my way back up to Durango to try the Animus once again. Uh, last time I didn't get any. So this time I'm hoping that I actually land a fish. Um, I've got kind of a late start here. It's kind of unexpected that I could go today. Also forgot a uh, my SD drive for my GoPro. So you guys are not going to be getting a lot of footage of me with the GoPro on the hat. Actually, you won't get any footage of that because I don't have the ability to film without an SD card. Kind of schedule permitted and I decided, uh, hey, I'm going to go. So it's 11.30 right now and I've got maybe another 20 minutes till I get there. Yeah, this is kind of one of those impromptu fishing trips that you know, and you just kind of aren't set up for. I'm hoping that I actually get a fish. I uh, fished it the first time last time and just could not find anything. Plus the water was really mucky. I hear that the water cleared up a little bit. It's been cold, so it's not, uh, you know, it's not as blown out. So I'm hoping, hoping that I actually get one this time, so. All right, so this is a little different situation than when I came out last. You can see really deep into the water. I'm walking through. I've walked quite a ways, almost from that bridge. I haven't seen anything yet. Tried a few little holes here and there, but I'm not seeing any trout right now. I'm just walking right in the center here. Looks a little deep right here. I might try a big stretch of a hole right here. See if I can't find something, but this is uh, a lot more clear. Hopefully, that means that I can actually land something, or at least hook up with fish, so. Got to move the indicator to fish a bit deeper. Next spot. tried north of this uh, bridge that I'm on and uh, I didn't do so well I just didn't see much but pretty cool here you can kind of see down into the water however I'm not seeing any fish so, I'm going to keep on walking down a bit, down that way, see if I can't land one, way down that way. It looks like there's some stiller water with a little bit of current, so that might work.
saw that fish jump in front of me, I got really excited. So I threw my line out once more and made sure it drifted past where I saw him jump. Hook up. After losing that fish, I was a bit frustrated, but I kept fishing. However, after hooking the bottom and losing my flies, I decided I was done for the day. Well, not a productive day again, but I did actually see one trout, and I hooked one, and he was good size, so at least there's that. Now I kind of know where to go. Uh, down south of that that bridge um, is really good. I, I do like this area for fishing. Um, I was having a lot more of the rapids and not some deep holes up further up. But yeah, take a look at this. It's just it's so pretty, so pretty. Right down there is where I hooked the one, and can't believe I didn't actually bring them in, but. I didn't really get a good hook set on him. He, uh, I had a lot of uh, line out, and yeah. Anyway, it's about 4:30, maybe 4:15, and I'm just, I'm done. I don't want to fish anymore. It's starting to get dark. Uh, I mean, not, not really. I've got another probably 45 minutes, but I've got about a 20-minute uh, walk back to the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, after I'm done taking a break on this. Uh, bench. I'm going to go ahead and uh, head back to the car, go home, and come back another day. This will have to be another three-part series <laughs> for me to be able to catch a fish. It is what it is, so I'll get there. I'll get a fish here for sure. It looks pretty good, so I, I can imagine I'll, I'll get one, especially since we're fishing bigger, uh, you know, nymphs. It's going to be a lot easier to bring one in. I don't know how I lost that other one, but anyway. Stay tuned for next week. Yeah!